1964, we all wanted to take part in the Leatherball Cup, a nationwide football competition for amateur teams. For us, it was a real start in life. More than three million people a year competed for it. But in the 90s, the Leatherball was forgotten. Last year, a new life for the Leatherball Cup began with Coca-Cola. We faced an unusual and important task. Bring back the legend to children. Organize and conduct leatherball competitions supported by Coca-Cola across the country. Everything from announcements to award ceremonies was subject to a single standard. Made possible by a new logo, point of sale materials and support in social networks. And most of all, a unified organization plan of competitions in all 27 cities. Children learned about the leather ball from announcements at school. They participated in the qualifying rounds and the winners went to the finals in Moscow. Children from schools, orphanages and summer camps were on the stands as spectators. The winners are going to the Coca-Cola Summer School in Brazil for the World Cup. Results. 540,000 people from six regions took part in the competitions. 420 articles were published. More than 540 internet discussions were started and 140 reports aired on local TV channels. 30,000 cans of Coca-Cola were consumed. 768 goals were scored. But the best reward for our work was the kids' smiles. Here is my grandson, Misha. Second from the left, right after the Leather Ball Cup victory in 2013. So happy, just as I was in 1964. We are confident, football is forever, as is Coca-Cola.